everybody. Welcome back inside Del Mar Fieldhouse for the second part of our doubleheader as it's the Region 3 Class 6A semifinals. And right now, for Fort Bend ISD, the season is on the brink as the Elkins Knights will take on Summer Creek. I'm Roger Smith. Patrick Kinnick will bring you the play-by-play. -play. And Patrick, what we have in Summer Creek is a very talented, very young team. You're absolutely right, and we were looking. I was looking at the roster earlier today, and just all, just almost surprised. Well, really surprised. They have six sophomores on their squad, two freshmen, four juniors, and only two seniors. So they're getting this far in the playoffs this year with such a young team. Uh, that's pretty impressive. A bright future appears to be in store for the uh, for the Bulldogs. You know, with what we do basically following the Fort Bend teams. We don't get a comprehensive look at everybody, but I will say that based on Summer Creek's roster and the fact that they are here tonight, and also what we saw from Cy Creek, a very young team that knocked Travis out, but Ridgepoint was able to knock them out on Saturday. But I think Cy Creek and Summer Creek are going to be the teams uh, just based on what they have presently if they continue to develop that sophomore and junior talent, they'll be tough to deal with. On the other hand, you got the Elkins Knights. By the way, they are 18 and one, and our Knights are ranked uh, seventh in the state according to the Texas Association of Basketball Coaches. They only have six underclassmen on their roster, and the only underclassmen that really play significant minutes and at uh, in games where the outcome is not decided, Chris Johnson, he's a sophomore. He will be the man probably next year. And also, uh, number 1A, Jackson Fields, will be a senior next year. So those two play a lot. But other than that, the Elkins Knights are a senior-laden team. They are not nearly as, um, you know, the the talents, the, the height, the dimensions, they don't jump out at you like they do, for example, the Atascacita team that just beat Ridgepoint. But Elkins is just very gritty. And that's the way their head coach, Albert Thomas, coaches them to play. Give no quarter, fight, 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 do whatever you have to do to win a ball game. And they're gonna have to have that mentality tonight here against this uh, tough Summer Creek team. And they're about ready to announce the starting lineups, Roger. Are we gonna listen to that or? Yeah, we'll, we'll take a break okay. and be right back. Our coverage tonight is brought to you by Xfinity with the X1 Sports app. Get up-to-the-minute scores, stats, and standings right on your TV. Change the way you experience TV with Xfinity X1. And by First Tire and Automotive. Make sure your vehicles are in shape for the winter. First Tire and Automotive has locations in First Colony, Greatwood, Katy Cinco Ranch, and on Eldridge Road in Sugarland. All four of them open on Saturdays. For the best prices on tires, Go to firsttyrantauto.com. We'll be back with the opening tap. From the three musketeers to the tricycle, you've experienced the power of three, but never like this. Because now with Xfinity Internet, you can also save on wireless and streaming. Get internet that's packed with power and up to $300 in savings with Xfinity Mobile. Plus, stream your favorites with the Flex 4K box and Peacock Premium, included at no extra cost. It's three ways to get more and save more, starting with Xfinity Internet. Can your internet do that? Get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement and add a free Flex 4K streaming box. Plus, save hundreds a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 331.21. Restrictions apply. New performance starter plus customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Wireless savings compares to averages of top providers. Xfinity Internet required. Peacock membership required.
First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTyronAuto.com You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. everything we take care of you so you can take care of business office depot office max taking care of business so summer creek is ranked 14th in the state in the texas association of basketball coaches poll they are 19 and 5 they've won 13 of the last 14 their only loss in that stretch was to atascacita which just eliminated rich point 76 to 41 in our first game tonight. In these playoffs, Summer Creek has beaten South Houston 79 to 29. They beat Clearbrook 71 to 68, and they beat Shadow Creek Saturday. Their most impressive win, 68 to 59. Their head coach Kenneth Coleman is in his third season, and he's a guy who is very confident. He said there's not a single team in the state of Texas that he is afraid to play. Three straight seasons for Summer Creek reaching the regional quarterfinals. And now the Bulldogs have taken a step beyond and their stud player is Amari Abram, who has multiple Division I offers, just a junior. And as Patrick had said, they have so many players that are coming back that they're gonna be scary in the next couple of seasons to come. Who's starting for Summer Creek, Patrick? Well, I just saw, <laughs> I got four of the five. Uh, Jalen Johnson, uh, Janine Goodman, Jaquiel Registe, who is a freshman, one of those freshmen on the squad, and Amari Abram. I didn't get the, the fifth guy. I'm going to get him right now as they walk out on the floor. It is... Uh, Race Allen is the fifth guy for the. Did you get the starters for the Elkins Knights, Roger? Chris Johnson, Shane Bell, Jacoby Harris, Ryan Jones, and Josh Faneuil. We're ready to go here from Delmar Fieldhouse. Second game of our action tonight. Unfortunately, the Ridge Point Panthers were unable to win the first game, but we're. Rooting hard for the Elkins Knights here tonight against the Summer Creek Bulldogs. Elkins coming into the ball game, seventh in the state. And the Bulldogs of Summer Creek coming into the game at 14th in the state. Here comes the opening tip. It's won by Summer Creek. Johnson has it to Abram. Abram dribbles through the lane. Now he passes it off to Johnson, who puts it up and puts it in. Jalen Johnson on a little floater and he's got the first point to the ball game here come your knights Daniel inside to bell back out to harris long shot for three around and out that was shot taken by shane bell here come the bulldogs left side jumper for three is good and galen johnson hits that he's got both buckets here to start the game, and it's a 5-0 Bulldog start. Just underway here from Del Mar. Harris to Bell now down low. Johnson going to the basket. Hit the side of the backboard. Got it back. Now underneath the backboard. He still got it. And now he gets it back out. Faneuil thought about driving, and he passes it back off to Johnson. Harris has it top of the key or way out by half court area. Setting up an offensive play here. Faneuil 
Right side, back to Harris. Taking their time. He's really directing traffic out there. Now Johnson, kind of not doing a whole lot of movement here. Here's Bell, back to Harris. Now he's down low. Johnson, good move on the baseline. He lays it in. Nice Chris move Johnson. by Chris Johnson for the first bucket of the night for the Elkins Knights. And it's 5-2. Six minutes to play first quarter. Shot attempt on the left side is taken by Allen. And he was fouled on his way up. Number 22, Ryan Jones, his first personal first team foul against the Knights. Apparently, Reese Allen steps to the free throw line. He's going to shoot two. He was fouled as he went up on the shot on the left baseline. Here's his shot. It's good. From the Looks free like throw he's line. ready for Easter with those shoes. Very yeah. pastel pink. Yes, he's got the pink with a little bit of blue trim there. You see all kinds of, there's another couple of, another player out there with the same type of shoe for Summer Creek, and he makes the second free throw. It's 7-2. to 6-10 to play first quarter as the Bulldogs get off to a bit of a fast start. Johnson for the Elkins Knight. Harris, top of the key. He's about 30 feet out. Bell now, back to Harris. Playing a, looks like a 1-2-2 two, two zone defense or a 3-2 and a travel violation against jo Josh Spaniel. Feet got a little bit too quick on that and he picked up a travel call. Here's Goodman now for Summer Creek. With just a, the freshman got it down to Allen who had his shot blocked nicely by the Knights. Here's Harris into the lane. He's cut off. He still got it, penetrates again. Little pump fake, lays it up and puts it in. Jacoby Harris, Jacoby what a nice Harris. move to get the bucket. It's a good idea to get your defender to join the paratrooper club That's like that. exactly right, and that ball tipped out of bounds. Nice play by Shane Bell there to uh, get in the passing lane and tip it out of bounds. And not only did he do that, but he chased the ball down all the way down to the other end of the floor. All around good hustle there. Here's Goodman now for the Bulldogs of Summer Creek. Johnson, Jalen Johnson, lost his dribble, got it back. Goodman now right side, being guarded by Harris. Now he takes it in the lane. A shot is partially blocked, and uh, the Summer Creek Bulldogs got out of there with it. Now a travel call against Jalen Johnson. One travel leads to another. Both teams with turnovers and back-to-back -back possessions. 7-4, the Elkins Knights trail. And I think they're liking the pace here. They like to take their time here and take advantage of opportunities when they come. Harris, Bell, top of the key, back to Chris Johnson. Penetrates, now a good spin move, and he laid it up and was fouled. That was a majestic spin move by Chris Johnson. I thought you had something to say about that move, Roger. Nothing comes to your mind. So lightning quick, it's such a good move, it almost looked like he was going to get a traveling call. Yeah, yeah. He's at the line now for two. And his first one is off the back of the rim. He takes a little practice flick of the wrist for the second one here. 4.39 to play, and Summer Creek leads 7-4 early here. First quarter, here's the second free throw by Johnson, and it's good. He's got three points in the ball game, three out of the five. Summer Creek now heads up the floor with Abram. Left-hand dribble, good defense by the Knights. Goodman has it. He's double-teamed now, and now Spaniel really going hard. Right side, three-pointer, no good from Regeste, uh, the freshman. And here comes, oh, behind the back pass, down Low and Faneuil comes out of it. He's struggling with the ball left side, but he jumps it up there for a 15-footer on the left side, and he misses it. And now there's a foul on Shane Bell as the rebound came down to Jalen Johnson of the Summer Creek Bulldogs. Number one, Shane Bell is yeah, Jaquiel Registe is a freshman for the Summer Creek 
Bulldogs, you don't see freshmen playing varsity basketball very often. And he's a big boy for a freshman, and you see he's pretty strong too. Here's how alley oop play, and a little bit short on the alley oop, but Johnson, Jalen Johnson, was able to gather it, and he went underneath the rim and just floated it in. He's got seven points of the nine. Here's a three point attempt, no good from Johnson of the Elkins Knights. And the just a came down with the rebound. Excuse me, Abram. Now a shot from three from Abram of the Summer Creek. Bulldogs, no good, and coming down with the rebound was Jacoby Harris, and he was fouled when he came down with the rebound. We're going to have some substitutions coming into the ball game for the Knights. Coy Glover comes in, and then Fields comes into the ball game. Jackson Fields, the big 6-7 junior. Roger mentioned it earlier in the first game how loud it is in here and when the PA guys who is a very good PA announcer but when he, he talks it's hard to know if you're actually being heard or not. Yeah he's Rick <laughs> Godfrey he's so good he's too good. <laughs> Here's Harris left side now Bell back to Harris swinging around to Glover Harris has it he's playing a little catch now he's going to shoot a three. Up and in and out. Rebound comes down to Glover. He lost it, though, and now it's a fight for the ball on the floor, and it's going to be a tie-up as uh, Fields went down there hard as if he was going for a fumble recovery, and Reese Allen was on there for the Bulldogs. It's Elkins' ball, though. 9-5, they trail. Quick pass inside. He's got his man for a layup, and Bell was able to lay it in. All he did was get the ball, quickly passed it in to Bell, who just laid it in. It was a, almost a surprise pass, I think. Bulldogs a little bit unexpecting it. 9-7, three minutes to play here, first quarter. The Knights have not led yet, as the Bulldogs got out to a 7-2 lead. And now the Knights seem to have settled down. Looked like uh, there was a travel there, but no call. Abram has it, takes it in the lane, loses it. Fields has got it for the Elkins Knights. Here's Harris, right side. Now he penetrates the lane. Little floater from 10, he puts it in. Nice play by Harris. He was going to his left and came back to the right with a shot and put it home. Here's Johnson for Summer Creek. Three-pointer is good. Got to get on Jalen Johnson. He has 10 points already. Here's Daniel for three. Honeycombs around and out, but Fields has a rebound. Little baby hook on the rebound, and he puts it in. And a whistle. What do they got here? A whistle, and what are they? What are we doing? A little talk to somebody. Well, a little, Josh. Uh, Josh Faniel was having problems with one of the compression sleeves on one of his on his right leg. Yeah. And now. He's, he's going to sit down, and I think he's got blood on it. Okay, That's there the it problem. Is. He's got blood on his, uh, well, I guess you're calling it a compression sleeve on his right well, thigh. Well, I'm probably calling it the wrong thing. Well, but it's, it's the under, it's, what do you what do you call the undergarment of the basketball players that they wear now? Here's a long shot from Abram, left side, and he puts it in. By the way, uh, I want to mention someone's name. The awesome trainer for Elkins, June Tomlin, is fixing Faniel's little equipment problem. He, she's busy over there trying to get him back into the ball game. Got to get Faniel back in. Here's Bell, Harris. Elkins trails by four here in a minute and a half to play first quarter. Harris has it over to Johnson. He's at the three-point line, looks for a little driving move. Now he spins again. This time they're going to call another, well, they're going to call a travel, even though I think there was contact on the play. I yeah, I think there one. was a trip, not an intentional one, but it but, uh, should have been a foul. Chris Johnson's not really complaining a whole lot, but it sure looks like there was the contact instigated that uh, travel. Here's Abram for the Bulldogs. They have a four-point lead. Cross between the legs, now to the right elbow, a little fade away from 16, no good. Rebound down to Harris for the Knights. Four court now. Right side. Fields going to shoot for three, and he's long on it. Hit the back rim. Thought he had it. And here comes Patterson for the Bulldogs. A shot at him, blocked as Fields stuffed him. He stuffed Abram. 
who went up to the basket thinking he was going to get an easy one. And, and here comes Jackson Fields and said, not so fast, my friend. And he blocked it out of there. And that shot block by Jackson Fields, every bit as impressive as one of the vicious spikes by his world-class volleyball-playing sister, Skylar Fields. I'll be darned. She, uh, uh, I'm assuming she plays for, for Elkins. And she's well, she played actually for she, Ridgepoint. Oh, okay. And now she's at the University of Texas. And so maybe they didn't someday go to the same high schools. They did not. I'll be darned. That's a surprise. So she's what school is she going to? She's going to UT. All right. Well, back to the action here. 40 seconds to play. Knights down by four. Harris has it. Now to the top of the key with Glover. Left side. Johnson has it. Puts a little move on. And he still has the ball. Cross court all the way to Faneuil. Three-pointer right side. Almost air ball that barely draw the draw iron on that. Here's Abram for three for the Bulldogs. He's no good. And Fields has the rebound. And he was pushed from behind. I think that was a pretty good call. A Jaquiel Regista. Regista. Got to get that name pronounced right. Regista. I agree with you. It was a good call, but Regista looked like, who, me? <laughs> yeah. He didn't agree at all. Yeah, I, think there was, I, I guess as a freshman, you uh, <laughs> you could do that, but that's well, maybe pretty he's clear. NBA material. Pretty, pretty clear call there. And here come the Knights now with eight seconds to play in the quarter. They can't lose track of the time. Coy has it. Glover to Harris for three, steps back, and he's short on the iron. Tipped up, no good as Field tried to get it in. We'll take a break. First quarter over, Summer Creek 15, Elkins Knights 11. Are you ready? Ready for anything. For what life throws at you? At your kids. Are they ready to study, research, write papers? To do all the amazing things they don't even know they're capable of yet. Internet Essentials from Comcast brings affordable, high-speed internet to your home for only $9.95 a month. Now available to low-income households eligible for public assistance programs like Medicaid, the National School Lunch Program, SNAP, Housing Assistance, and others. Visit internetessentials.com to apply. No credit check, contract, or installation fee. Taxes, extra restrictions apply. Make sure your car is ready before you hit the road for your spring adventures by taking advantage of March specials at First Tire and Auto. Visit the website, firsttireandauto.com for details and try to book an appointment at any of our conveniently located stores in Sugarland and Katy Cinco Ranch. The March specials include $50 a brake pad replacement, $20 off a Castrol synthetic oil change, or $10 off a Castrol synthetic blend, $50 off a set of four tires, or $25 off two tires. For more information, just go to firsttireandauto.com. Okay, we're back here as Roger gave you some good sponsorship there. And Summer Creek has the ball and a four-point lead as we start this second quarter. Jalen Johnson, who leads all scorers with 10, has the ball now on a bit right baseline. Hicks it all the way in. Nice pass, but it was muffed by the receiver of that pass. Harris has it for Elkins all the way to the basket for a layup. Nice job and a steal now as Fields steals the pass and looked like he fell out of bounds, but they're going to give the ball to the Elkins Knights. I'm not sure how that happened. Must have been a push. Maybe they call the foul. I don't see him... Uh, yeah, they, they're not calling up, a foul, but there's no question that, uh, you know, if Jackson Fields was a wide receiver on the football team, and he is, that would have been a completed catch because yes. his feet were down in bounds, <laughs> yeah. but his elbows landed out of bounds. Yeah, I'm just not sure how they got the ball on that, but they got it. They got a chance to tie here or take their first lead of the night. Harris directing traffic again, taking their time. They're not being impatient, which is a good, a good thing. Here's Glover. Down to Fields, left side. Harris has it. Nice flip pass down to Glover, who's pushed and shoved and Good pass, Kobo. and blocked. There's a foul. He was having a hard time in all that traffic, and he's able to draw the foul as Harris did a bullet pass down low to Glover, who made a good catch, but then was fouled. Reese Allen checks back in for the. Bulldogs of Summer Creek. Elkin, one, By the way, Patrick, I just feel like saying this because I've admired him. I don't even know the kid, 
my favorite boys basketball player in Fort Bend ISD is Jacoby Harris. Well, there you go. I love watching him play. He, is, he loves uh, the game. He's intense. Here's a tip pass out of bounds, and it deflected off of Bell. There's cross-court pass, a little bit of a risky pass. Deflected, and then it deflected off of Bell. Out of bounds, so Summer Creek will get the ball back. Glover comes right back into the ball game. He was just he just checked out, and then now he's back in for Harris, who is going to take a short break here. Hopefully, it'll be a short break. He's had a good half so far. Here's Abram with the ball. Summer Creek, left side, three pointer up and around and in. That's Sawyer. That's his first shot and his first points of the game, and it gives his team a five point lead. 18. 13, long three-pointer for Elkins, and that's Johnson. Chris Johnson hits a three. He answers it right back. Here comes Summer Creek now for a three-pointer. Up and good. That is Jalen Johnson again. That's his third three, and now Coach Albert Thomas has got to talk, talk to his team. We'll take a short break. 21-16, Summer Creek. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line, too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Don't miss the UIL Boys State Basketball Championships March 13th at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. And for more information, visit UILTexas.org. We're back to the action. Shane Bell just hit a three for the Knights. Shot attempt for the Summer Creek Bulldogs, no good, and the Knights have a chance to tie again. Long, nice pass down the field. You couldn't quite handle it. It was a real nice pass, but... One of those just a little bit too hot to handle for Fields. Had he caught it, he might have had a chance for a nice little layup. 21-19, 5.48 to play here. This is a lot different than that first game, Roger, where they got away from the Panthers early, and this one's been a, a good fight from the beginning. Here's Sawyer, left side to uh, Dutton. And now Abram has it for... The Bulldogs stolen away. Here's Chris Johnson. He's going to take it all the way, and he lays it in. Oh, boy. Now it's a timeout for the Bulldogs. It's 21-21 as a five-point run for the Elkins Knights after that timeout just prior to that. And an awesome three-on-one break as Chris Johnson started it, and they got the transition game going, and sometimes the best thing to do is just you take it to the hoop yourself, well, and he, he did. He had a move where it looked like he might go behind the back to his uh, teammate to the left side, and he almost he sort of faked the pass and then just took it all the way up and laid it in himself, as you said. Nice play as Chris Johnson now has eight points in the ball game. By the way, I have a message for my good friend Kevin Lovell, who is one of our most loyal listeners. He's out in El Paso. And, Kevin, I met the future or a big part of the future of UTEP Miners women's basketball. It's a girl named Grace Alvarez who single-handedly knocked the Ridgepoint girls out of the playoffs. Great three-point shooter. She's going to UTEP. Well, there you go. Good night. Uh, there's a pass inside as uh, Allen looked like he was tied up, but they called a foul on one of the Knights there. Looks like it's on Shane Bell. He's got two fouls now. Bell has to be careful here. Five minutes to play in the half. You don't want him picking up his third. 
You know, we were hoping for the all Fort Bend ISD regional final, but Elkins has to win if any team from Fort Bend is going to get to the round of eight. Here's Johnson with a fake, and he passes it back now. Sawyer has it, and a shot attempt is blocked, but another foul as uh, Reese Allen took it up there, and he was fouled by one of the Knights. Ryan, Ryan Jones now has two Just fouls. Just a second, Patrick. we got a problem so, uh, here. Oh, no, we don't. We're Bell has We're two, all and so does uh, Ryan Jones now for the Knights. They have all the four fouls. Here's Abram, or excuse me, Allen makes his third free throw here in the ball game. He's three for three from the free throw line. Got to like that from the free throw line if you're Reese Allen, one of the seniors for the Bulldogs. He and Sawyer are the two seniors. And Allen makes his second free throw. It's 23-21. The Knights trail again by two. They have not had the lead here tonight yet. But it's been uh, nip and tuck here pretty much all the way. Harris has it. He's just taking his time. There's no pressure up top, so he's just taking his time. And now he's a little drive to the corner. There's Spaniel. Takes it to the lane. No good. Rebound down to Jones, and he lost it. Down court comes the Bulldogs, and a layup is good from Goodman. Jalen Goodman. Goodman, the benefactor of that nice pass. And it's a four-point Bulldog lead again. Chris Johnson. Spaniel, who is off to a, sh a slow start here in the ball game, looking for some points from him. He has yet to score. Now Harris. And again, he's just going to take his time and direct the traffic. Left corner, Bell for three. It's no good. Looked like he had the right aim, but he steals the uh, outlet pass. Good job by Shane Bell. Now here's Chris Johnson for three. He front rims it, and here comes Goodman again. Alley you pass and a layup for Sawyer. A beautiful pass by Goodman. All of a sudden, it's back to a six-point lead. I believe that's the largest lead of the ball game for either team. Summer Creek had a five-point lead early, seven to two. And then I think it was 21-16. Now they lead by six. Here's a shot off the back rim. And Johnson fights for the rebound and he clearly fouled. Uh, <laughs> Allen yes. on that one. He immediately put his finger in the air as to say, yes, I did it, guilty as charged, well, before remember, they even charged him with the foul. You remember the days when you actually had to raise your hand if you yes. committed a foul. That was and the they rule. they said, you turn your to. back to the scores <laughs> table so that they can read your jersey number. You have a full timeout for the Elkins Knights now. Are we taking a break, Roger? Yeah, we better take a it's break. We'll be 20, back. 27-21, the Knights trail the Bulldogs. take care of you so you can take care of business office depot office max Taking care of business. that uh that's office depot talking to you and we want to thank thank the team at office depot in sugarland for their assist of our operation all year long office depot southwest freeway at williams trace helping our team at vipefortbend.com take care of business every day as we bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. We are back. Delmar Fieldhouse and the Knights uh, with just 21-21. And now the Summer Creek Bulldogs have gone on a little 6-0 run. 27-21. And the Bulldogs also have the basketball. Here is Jalen Johnson who's had a really good first half. He's got 13 points, including three three-pointers. He drives to the basket. Little 12-footer from the right side. No good. Fight for the rebound. Good rebound. Coming back to Johnson for three. Brackets the shot. And Summer Creek gets the long rebound as well. Goodman has it. Penetrates right side. He's fouled on his penetration. He's fouled by Harris. That's going to be a blocking foul. And the Bulldogs will pick the ball out of bounds underneath their own basket. Five team fouls now on the Knights. 
three minutes to play here in the first half. And Roger said earlier about the, the uh, tenacity of the Elkins Knights. They gotta kinda grind through the game and right now they're gonna have to kinda grind through this first half. Inbound pass and a shot attempt from Allen is short. And now the Knights have it. Not, the Knights are not really shooting that well. Here's Harris who drives and he's fouled. He was shouldered as he penetrated the lane there. I don't think the Knights are off to a great start shooting. And yet they're still in the ball game, fighting hard here. If they get that shot to start falling, maybe we can take charge here. Here's Glover now to inbound the ball, Coy Glover. And he's been instructed to get that shirt tail tucked in nice and neat. Now he's got it ready to go and Harris has it. Chris Johnson back to Harris. He's at the top, being guarded by Dutton. Right corner, a little pass that Chris Johnson could not quite handle. And it went out of bounds, another turnover. Had a little too much salsa on that yeah. one, a little too hot coming yeah. in. Yeah, came, came kind of hot. It was a one-handed push pass, one little hard. And out of bounds, here comes the Bulldogs up the floor. And it's Jalen Johnson. Dutton, back to Johnson. He's got the lane. Right side now, shot attempt is good. From Patterson. Cameron Patterson. Gets a long three, and now all of a sudden it's a nine point game. Pass inside, Chris Johnson puts it up. Looked like he was fouled, no call, but he puts it in anyway. That was a big bucket, broke the nine nothing run. And a foul now on the shot attempt from Jalen Johnson as Jacoby Harris got a little too much body on him, and uh, Johnson will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Now Jacoby Harris has two fouls. We got multiple players for Elkins with two fouls, including Bell, Harris, and I'm trying to uh, I think Ryan Jones has two. And uh, interestingly enough, Jalen Johnson, who doesn't seem to miss anything, he misses his free throw. Maybe that's what we've got to do, put him on the free throw line. He's got a second free throw coming. He's got 13 points here in the ball game so far. And here's second free throw is good. I'm not suggesting that we put him on the free throw line. I think he's a pretty good free throw shooter. One out of two there. And it's a 31-23 game with exactly two minutes to play here in the first half of action. Harris, Daniel, back to Harris. And again, taking their time, Glover. As Fields goes to the high post, ball was tipped, Fields got it back to Harris. Harris penetrates, floated from 12, no good. Rebound comes down to Allen. Long pass, good catch, shot underlaid by Dutton. Fortunately for the Knights as he was at point blank range and he missed the shot. Chris Johnson now to Harris, inside to Faneuil. He looks a little out of sorts here tonight so far. Hopefully he can get that Get his stride back here in the second half. Harris from 15, pops it, short on the shot. Fields couldn't quite get it. Here come the Bulldogs. Left side three, long from Patterson, who made one earlier from the right side. Here's Harris, down low to Chris Johnson. Good catch, lays it up, and lays it in. Good job, Chris Johnson, off of a good feed from Harris. 50 seconds to play in the half, six point lead for the Bulldogs. Johnson for three, bracket, no good. Harris has it, here's Chris Johnson now. One on one, spin move, and the ball was deflected out of his hands. He's got it back to Faneuil. Three pointer, good! There it is, Josh Faneuil. His first bucket of the ball game comes at a great time. 31-28 with 30 seconds to play here in the half, and the Elkins backers are urging strong defense here as we finish the half out. Here's Abram for Summer Creek. They're gonna take the final shot or at least attempt the final shot. 13 seconds to play here and a half and Abram just holding it now. And now he's moving, seven seconds, penetrates left side. Pretty good defense, shot attempt, no. He gets it back while he's sitting on the ground and he passes it off to a teammate and it goes out of bounds and there's the horn. A good finish for the Elkins Knights. They were down by nine and they were able to get it down to three as we finish the first half. The first half score, 
It's 31 to 28. Roger, anything to say about that? Well, I was just going to say that, uh, you know, some of our listeners might say, okay, well, now you tell us. But I, I really was looking for a chance to step in and say something. And uh, it kind of looks like I was just waiting for the game to turn or something. So the Knights are down by three. I'm not making a guarantee that they're going to win this game, but what I will guarantee is that this team of experienced Elkins Knights are not going to let this game get away from them, where it's a double-digit lead halfway through the fourth quarter where they just don't compete at the end. This game, I believe, is either going to go the Knights' way or they're going to fight all the way down to the last possession. That's simply what I expect from them and from the way that their head coach, Albert Thomas, coaches them. You know, this was kind of painful for you because you have sons who attend Travis. But the only Knights loss this season was to the Ridge Point Panthers. And in their very next game against Travis, they were trailing by double digits with about four minutes to go in that one. Now, Travis made some mistakes down the stretch in that game that kind of helped the Knights get over the top. But they won that game 47 to 46, and they have not lost since. They have a nine-game win streak. Knock on wood when you say that. Nine-game winning streak. All right, we will take a break, and uh, we will amuse you and... Patrick will give you some numbers from the first half. This is VipeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. And we are exclusively the network of the Elkins Knights basketball team. They're all we have left in this world, or I guess they're all we have left in the bracket on either the boys or the girls' side. So we got to pull them through this game so that they can face Atascacita in the Region 36A final. We'll take a break and be back. 31 to 28, Summer Creek leads Elkins at halftime. We'll be back. Getagreatgig.com presents Gary Horn of hornsolutions.net on the most important factors in starting a business. Number one, where will you get the necessary capital? Two, you will probably not make money for some period of time. Prepare a conservative model of expected cost and revenues. Three, are you willing to work long hours for no pay and make sure all employees are paid? For more free career and job search advice, log on to getagreatgig.com. Hello, I'm Gary Horn, CEO of Horn Solutions. Our team of experienced accounting, finance, and IT professionals have delivered solutions to Houston businesses for over three decades. Our project group provides services ranging from assisting with mergers, acquisitions, and integrations to interim staffing. Our executive search group provides full-time placements for accounting, finance, and IT positions. Let Horn Solutions help you meet the challenges your company faces. Visit hornsolutions.net. From the Three Musketeers to the Tricycle, you've experienced the power of three, but never like this. Because now, with Xfinity Internet, you can also save on wireless and streaming. Get Internet that's packed with power and up to $300 in savings with Xfinity Mobile. Plus, stream your favorites with the Flex 4K box and Peacock Premium, included at no extra cost. It's three ways to get more and save more, starting with Xfinity Internet. Can your Internet do that? Get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement and add a free Flex 4K streaming box. Plus, save hundreds a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Ends 3 21 Restrictions apply. New Performance Starter Plus customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Wireless savings compares to averages of top providers. Xfinity Internet required. Peacock membership required. Make sure your car is ready before you hit the road for your spring adventures by taking advantage of March specials at First Tire and Auto. Visit the website, firsttireandauto.com for details, and you can book an appointment at any of our conveniently located stores in Sugarland and Katy Cinco Ranch. Listen to these March specials. $50 off a brake pad replacement. $20 off a Castrol synthetic oil change or $10 off a Castrol synthetic blend oil change. Also, 
If you buy a set of four tires, you can get $50 off or $25 off two tires. So it's a great time to go into firsttireandauto.com, those four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and Katie Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. We'll be right back. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Don't miss the UIL Boys State Championship basketball games on Saturday, March 13th. They'll be at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. For more information, visit UILTexas.org. So the Elkins Knights still with a chance to get there, trailing 31 to 28 at halftime. Atascacita, another team with a chance to get there. And they will play the winner of this Summer Creek Elkins game in the Region 3 6A final at a time and place to be determined. And Patrick, you know something, I, I have these random observations, as you know. Yeah. And one of them is that Houston is known as the Bio City or the Bayou City, depending on how you would like to say it. But I think that maybe we ought to be the Creek City. The what city? The, the Creek City. Creek, Creek. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of creeks, don't we? You know, this explosion of all these new schools in the Houston area over the last 40 plus years, we now have at least six creek schools. And I made a list and I made them in chronological order. But I was just wondering if you might be able to uh, come up with some of the creeks. Oh, by the way, Patrick is pointing across the way a big old plexiglass barrier that's here because of COVID 19 fell off the scorer's table, and they're trying to get it set back up. Well, okay, <laughs> so can you name some Creeks team? Well, Summer Creek. Summer Creek, that's one. Uh, Side Creek. What? Side Creek. Side Creek, that's two. Um, ah, I'm lost now. I should be able to get a few more, but I'm... Uh, you, you, you're kind of getting me... Uh, by, the, by the way, if I say something off, and it Roger. sounds like I'm not a good listener or that I interrupted Patrick, it's because it's so loud in here we can't hear each other speak. I should be able to get a couple more. Uh, Mang Mangum Creek. You know what? Did you say Maid Creek? Maid Creek and Mang Mang Creek. Mangum Creek. You came up with one I didn't realize. Yeah. So that makes seven. <laughs> okay, we got Summer Creek, Cy Creek, Maid Creek. The oldest of them is Clear Creek. Clear Creek, yeah. Which was the charter, the, the flagship school in Clear Creek ISD. You've got Lake Creek, which is part of Montgomery ISD. They yeah. opened yes, yes. very recently within the last two or three years. Travis played them in football this year, I believe. I can't tell what you're saying. I think Travis played them in football this year. Oh, that's right. That's right. And then you've got Caney Creek, which is part of Conroe, probably the the least known of all the creek I, schools. What was that last one, Roger? What? What was the last one? Caney Creek. Like New Caney? Oh, Caney okay. Creek. Yeah. And as Roger said, we can barely, we're sitting right next yeah. to each other and we cannot hear each other. <laughs> By the way, uh, you know, wouldn't it be great if Seals and Crofts did a musical concert for uh, folks at Summer Creek? They could sing Summer Creek makes me feel fine. Yeah. <laughs> Going through the jasmine in my mind. <laughs> Instead of summer breeze, it's summer creek. Elkins Knights will inbound the ball. They trail by three as we start the second half. 
Harris has it. The Knights trying to get to the regional final with a victory here tonight. The winner of this game against will face Atascacita. Here's Spaniel to the basket, lays it up and rolls in. Whoa, that ball had a little English on it and was able to get into the, into the basket. And a second basket for Spaniel here in the ball game now. He has five. Summer Creek has the ball. They lead by one. They have a nine point lead late in the first half. And a little run by the Elkins Knights brought it down to three and now it's one. Abram. He tries to get through some traffic and it's deflected and Chris Johnson comes out of there with it for the Knights. Good defense by the Knights. Here's Bell. Thought about a three and then he got it back to Harris. Right side, Chris Johnson. Harris does a lot of directing of traffic. Does a great job as the, as the point point guard quarterback of the offense here for the Knights. He's got the ball now in the lane, in the land of the Giants. Gets it back off to Chris Johnson who penetrates left side. No good, but Faniel tried to slam it home. He would have been better just to lay it in. And now the ball's loose. Good job by the Summer Creek ball player to get that ball. That was uh, Allen. And then he got to it, the ball to his teammate. The ball was blocked on the shot. It looked like it went out of bounds off the Bulldogs, but they're saying it went off the Knights. A Bulldog blocked Jalen Johnson's shot. Looked like it might have gone off of him, but to no avail. 31 to 30. Bulldogs continue to maintain possession. Here's Allen. Little sh shot from five feet. No good. Gets it back. And he lays it in. Reese Allen missed his first attempt. Got it back. And then he was fouled and he laid that one in. 33-30 now. And now Reese Allen will shoot the free throw. He's four for four from the free throw line so far in the ball game. And here's his fifth free throw attempt. It rolls around and out. So it's still a three point game. 33-30. I think the last foul was on Ryan Jones and he might have his third foul for the Knights. Here's Chris Johnson, fake pass, decides to shoot a three, no good, fight for the rebound as Spaniel almost had it. Long pass for the Bulldogs. Looked like a travel and no call. Here's Abrams from, from three point land, no good, rebound attempt, and now a foul is gonna go against the Bulldogs. Good position by the Knights. Reese Allen got the foul. Ryan, Ryan Jones Jackson comes out of the game with those three fouls. And now Fields, Josh Jackson Fields comes into the ball game. Knights trail by three. They have never led in the ball game. They've had it tied, but they've never led. Down to Fields, good move, contact, and a foul. He looked like he lost his balance a little bit, but they're going to say that the knee of, of Robertson, excuse me, Abram got his knee into him there, and he picked up the foul. Harris inbounds it to Bell. Knights have it, trail by three. 5.40 to play, third quarter. Chris Johnson, way out towards the half-court line. Now Harris, crossover dribble. Now he's looking for somewhere to go and gets it back to Chris Johnson. Spaniel right side, back to Harris. Setting it up. Back to Faniel for three. It's, oh, it's in and out. The hoop wouldn't have it. Now Bell ties him up. Good job by Bell, Shane Bell. It'll be Bulldogs ball, but at least you get the change of possession next time. Faniel shot from three was in and out there. A little bit of bad luck. Here's Jalen Johnson for Summer Creek. Giste. The freshman, no good, but got his own rebound back. There's Allen. Way off to the left side, it's Johnson. Jalen Johnson hits the side of the backboard this time. And rebound comes down to Shane Bell for the Elkins Knights. Here comes Harris. He's going to take it all away, and the ball swatted out of there, but he got it back. Harris did. Not giving up on the play. Bell now, Faniel. Left side, Chris Johnson down low. It's Bell. Good pump fake. Puts it up, and he's fouled. Nice play by Bell off the beautiful pass from Chris Johnson. 
And a good pump fake by Shane Bell there. That's an experienced player. You know, sometimes you're thinking it's a testosterone contest and you go up strong, but sometimes you just give it that good head fake and let them fly up in the air and you know you're either going to get a clean shot as you go back up while they come down or they're going to come down right on top of you and you'll draw a foul. There's a 30-second timeout, and uh, the Summer Creek called that 30-second timeout. Shane Bell will be going to the free throw line for the Elkins Knights. And it's just such an interesting ball game. It's been close pretty much all the way. The largest lead has been nine points by the Summer Creek Bulldogs. The Knights have never led, and it's just, it's just an interesting game. Uh, you know, they, in a close game like this, you usually have these lead changes back and forth, but this one has been five-point lead, Summer Creek, two-point lead. Then maybe a tie, then maybe a seven-point lead. But the Knights just can't seem to get over the hump. Hopefully, here as the game goes on, they will get over the hump, and maybe they'll take a few leads of their own. You know, if, if they trail the whole game and score at the buzzer to win it, I would be fine with well, that. Well, I know they would be too. Yeah, absolutely. But the bottom line is they're hanging strong in the ball game and at some point I think they're gonna they're gonna get over that hump and here's Shane Bell now who has five points in the ball game he puts his first free throw up it's off the back iron but it rolls in A little shooters touch there 33 31 Bell will shoot his second free throw he has six points in the ball game so far with four and a half to play in the third quarter couple of bounces at the line and puts the next one up and it's long off the back of the rim and Jalen Johnson comes down with it for the Summer Creek Bulldogs. Allen right side Sawyer long shot by Sawyer that's his second three of the ball game he has a total of eight points Sawyer showing some three-point range here's Spaniel field. Spaniel now back to Harris. They trail again by five. Same pattern happening here as Summer Creek just continues to sort of be in charge just enough to be by, up by a few points. Harris now to Chris Johnson. Elkins taking their time. Very patient on offense. Fields has it as he comes out to the three-point line to help out. Here's Bell. A little pressure on the left side, but now he gets it to Faniel. Back to Bell. Faniel, he's all toward the half-court line now. Now he's got it at the three-point line. Three-pointer up off the back rim. No good. Chris Johnson with a good rebound. Goes up strong. No good. Fight for it. Faniel comes down with it and lays it in on a nice rebound shot for Faniel, who now has got seven points, waking up a little bit. Ball tipped. Here's the Elkins Knights with the ball. They trail by three, and here's Harris pushing up the floor. Nice little move. Floater from 10. No good. Tipped and rebounded out of bounds. It'll be Elkins ball as Sawyer had the rebound, but he landed on the line. Did Jacoby get away with carrying I the basketball? I think he did, yes. I, when I said he made a nice move, it was a little bit of a carry, and there was a little shouting coming from the Summer Creek fans. Maybe rightly so. Now Harris looking for a long pass into Fields, and now he thought about a three. Now he's spinning at the left side. Fields going to shoot for three. Left side, no good. Short on the three. And here is Jalen Johnson. Not Jalen Johnson. That's Goodman with the ball. Now they swing it around, and Abram is fouled. Looked like the foul was on Faniel. Had his hand on his on his hip there. And he put that hand in the air to say, yes, I committed the foul. So the uh, hand in the air on the fouls lives on, even though it's not required anymore. Long inbound pass to Jalen Johnson. Now Sawyer, good move, and he's fouled. He shoots it up there after the foul to try to get the three-point play. He missed the shot, but he'll go to the free throw line. Steve Sawyer has been active here since the second quarter. He has eight points. You go to the free throw line. Now we have a timeout. We're going to take a break. Two and a half to play. Third quarter. Summer Creek 36. Elkins 33. From the three musketeers to the tricycle. You've experienced the power of three, but never like this. Because now with Xfinity Internet, you can also save on wireless and streaming. 
Get internet that's packed with power and up to $300 in savings with Xfinity Mobile. Plus, stream your favorites with a Flex 4K box and Peacock Premium, included at no extra cost. It's three ways to get more and save more, starting with Xfinity Internet. Can your internet do that? Get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement and add a free Flex 4K streaming box. Plus, save hundreds a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 331-21. Restrictions apply. New performance starter plus customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Wireless savings compares to averages of top providers. Xfinity Internet required. Peacock membership required. Back at Del Mar Fieldhouse, Steve Sawyer of the Bulldogs misses his first free throw. He and Reese Allen, the two seniors, had a pretty good ball game between the two of them, along with Jalen Johnson providing most of the points for the Bulldogs. Those three players. Here's his second free throw. It rattles in for a good free throw. He's one for two on a line from that in that particular appearance. Four-point lead for the Bulldogs. Chris Johnson down low. His shot was blocked. And a nice block by Steve Sawyer, and he had a little glance at him after he made the block. Now Harris will inbound the ball underneath the basket for the Elkins Knight. Nice pass down low. Shot rolls in for Faniel. He's, he's uh, all of a sudden has nine points in the ball game. Here's Johnson just steps back for a three. No good and a foul on the rebound. Chris Johnson, I believe, is going to pick it up as Allen had the ball. I didn't even see I didn't even see Jackson Field in, the, in that play, but he somehow picked up the foul there. Ryan Jones steps back into the ball game. He has um, three fouls, so you got to be careful here not to pick up number four here in the third quarter. Two point game. They're going to inbound the ball all the way to the back court as Amari Abram went back. He got a steal now. Chris Johnson for Elkins. Three on one. Fakes the pass, lays it up, and puts it in. Chris checks. Johnson lays it in. It's a tie score. Back to an even ball game. Here's Summer Creek now. Ball lost. Here comes Harris. Chris Johnson had the ball tipped away. Harris gets it back, puts it up, and the shot does not count. Looks like the foul was on the floor, but the Elkins Knights with their first chance of a lead here in the ball game. And the Elkins Knights fans are coming to life here. Minute 53 to play here in the ball game. Or excuse me, in the third quarter. We have a whole other quarter to go. But it's a white knuckler, as uh, Al McGuire would say, a white knuckler. And a timeout. Elkins takes the timeout. We'll take a short break, Roger. 37-37 with 1.53 to play here. Take care of you so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. Maybe it's not a full We want to thank we want to thank the team at Office Depot and Sugarland for their assist all year long. Office Depot Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace helps our team at ByFortBend.com take care of business every day as we bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. Knights inbounding the ball underneath their own basket. 37-37 is the score. 153 to play here in the third quarter. Knights were trailing by six a few moments ago, and they were able to scramble back here as they've done all night, and they still are looking for their first lead. Maybe it'll come right here. Faniel has it. Bell. Johnson fakes the pass. Now Faniel down low. Little floater from the right side is no good. He thought he was fouled, and now there's going to be a foul on the rebound, and it's going to be on Ryan Jones. I believe that's four on him. Ryan Jones is fourth personal. 
That, that hurt. It was a hustle play. It was not a necessarily a silly foul. He just was going for the ball. And he's going to stay in the ball game. I'm a little surprised here. As Fields comes into the ball game and he comes in for Fanyo instead of for Ryan Jones. Summer Creek with the ball and a tie score. Allen to Patterson. Now a little wheel motion type offense. Jalen Johnson, who's been quiet here in the second half. We've done a good job on him. Ball tipped away. Now a fight for it. Allen has it. The ball's still loose. And here's Abram finally gathering it for the Bulldogs at half court. Looking for a drive. Good defense by Bell. And a foul called on Bell. And he can't believe it. And neither can coach Albert Thomas. Neither can I. Wow. And Roger right in there with them. That was good defense. Did, that, did he say it was his fourth foul? What? I thought I heard he say it was his fourth foul on Bell also. Maybe I'm not sure if I heard it right. But Bell came out of the ball game. And Faneuil comes back in and Fields comes back in. As Abram made the first free throw. 38-37 the Bulldogs lead. Here's second free throw is good from Abram on a foul called against Bell that we all definitely questioned. It looked like a pretty good block. Might have got him with the body a little bit, but with all that contact, it's hard to make that call. Here's Bell for three, and he puts it home! And a first lead of the ball game for the Knights! Hey, he came back strong after that questionable call, and he said, I'm just going to knock a three in here. Big shot from Shane Bell. Now 40 seconds to play here in the third quarter. And the Elkins Knights fans are shouting out D up here. And that's what we need. It looks like Summer Creek might be going for the last shot of the quarter. 30 seconds remaining in the quarter as Abram just dribbling at the half court line and Johnson just letting him dribble. And the clock continues to wind down. 20 seconds to play, third quarter. Abram now shouting a few directions to his team. Chris Johnson put a little pressure on him and the ball still at half court area. Now Abram drives, cut off by Johnson. Good defense. Abram again, eight seconds. Good defense. Off to the right side. Shot up. No good. Rebound down to field. Two seconds. Down to one. Shot from half court. Almost went in for Chris Johnson. But the Elkins Knights have the lead after the third quarter. It's 40 to 39. Elkins leads. And we'll be back with the exciting fourth quarter after this message. From the Three Musketeers to the Tricycle, you've experienced the power of three, but never like this. Because now, with Xfinity Internet, you can also save on wireless and streaming. Get internet that's packed with power and up to $300 in savings with Xfinity Mobile. Plus, stream your favorites with the Flex 4K box and Peacock Premium, included at no extra cost. It's three ways to get more and save more, starting with Xfinity Internet. Can your internet do that? Get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement and add a free Flex 4K streaming box. Plus, save hundreds a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Ends 3 21 Restrictions apply. New Performance Starter Plus customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Wireless savings compares to averages of top providers. Xfinity Internet required. Peacock membership required. Patrick, did you notice that Cy Lakes won a game in five overtimes this past weekend? I did not see that. Five overtimes. Five overtimes. Wow. So are you ready to go five overtimes if need be? <laughs> well, absolutely. How about you? Yeah, sure. Can't get enough of these exciting games. You're doing games. the heavy vocal lifting during this well, game. Well, this is an exciting game. Uh, the Knights are going to have the ball to start the fourth quarter. They lead by one. It's their first lead of the ball game. And it's a one-point lead. Summer Creek has been up by as many as nine. The possession arrow will now be the Bulldogs, the next tie-up, the next held ball. But first things first, here's the Knights. And Harris, are they going to try to draw them out of the 
defense here. They just have standing at half court. Spaniel has it. Now Chris Johnson, left baseline, shot from 15. Oh, it's a little long. Fight for the rebound. Looked like it went off Summer Creek. I do not. They're going to overrule this one, I think. I just can't even imagine that ball did not go off of Summer Creek. There were two guys right there, and yes. it's been reversed. Now, Roger's always saying that he likes to have the correct call. They would talk about it sometimes, and that time I think they did a good job. Not even an argument from... Um, Kenneth Coleman of the Bulldogs. I think he realized it too. And here come the Knights now after that out-of-bounds rebound. Harris, crossover, now he still has the ball. Faneuil, right side, man-to-man -man defense now from the Bulldogs. I think the Knights are okay with this. Chris Johnson was pushed on his drive to the basket, and he was pushed by Jalen Johnson. The two Johnson fellas going against each other and Johnson and Johnson Johnson and Johnson and they both wear number zero very interesting Harris into Fanio from the left side it's a little short but Harris came right in, came in there and got the rebound good job by Harris he penetrates now he's knocked over and I'm not sure why it's not a foul on that play and they call the timeout and the coach for Summer Creek is on the floor. I think he thought it was a travel. We're going to take a short break, I He's, believe. Yeah, I think so. I was Before we take that break, their coach, uh, Ken Coleman, not only might have thought it was a travel, but was thinking it's a held ball already, so you shouldn't be able to call a timeout in his view. But whatever. We'll be back. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready for anything. For what life throws at you? At your kids. Are they ready to study, research, write papers? To do all the amazing things they don't even know they're capable of yet. Internet Essentials from Comcast brings affordable, high-speed internet to your home for only $9.95 a month. Now available to low-income households eligible for public assistance programs like Medicaid, the National School Lunch Program, SNAP, Housing Assistance, and others. Visit internetessentials.com to apply. No credit check, contract, or installation fee. Taxes, extra restrictions apply. We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max and OfficeDepot.com. We thank the team at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland for their assist taking us or helping us take care of business all year long we are your broadcast home for fort bend county sports and now for the final 703 elkins one point ahead of summer creek roger there's seven minutes to play in the ball game i'm looking at the scoreboard and i'm going to bring up a point here in a second we'll get a chance because i have a hard time believing it and it could come back uh, making a, a, a huge effect in the ball game i'll tell you in a second here elkins has the ball Spaniel. Harris, look, uh, he did. Uh, Johnson carried the ball there. He's going to make a pass, and his man wasn't open, and then he ended up carrying the ball. What I'm seeing on the scoreboard is no timeouts remaining for Elkins. On the board, it says zero. It, could that possibly be right? I have some insight into that. I'll tell All you right. in a minute. Here's a shot. Nice shot by Abram. Abram. He floated one in from about 10 I feet out on the left side. I was noticing during playoff games here featuring the Ridgepoint girls and the Dulles girls that they don't seem to keep up with the timeout column. Down low, pass is made to Glover who lays it in. And I'm sorry I stepped on you That's there. That's all right. Big bucket. Here's the shot from 15, and it's good. And there's the freshman, Registe. That's his first bucket of the ball game, and it's back to a one-point lead. Here's the back-and-forth score. We've had a couple of lead chains here. Now a pass cross court. Johnson saves it for Summer Creek. What a play by Johnson. Abram, left corner, three pointers, good. Holy Toledo. And now it's a four point lead for Summer Creek, just like that. Five unanswered points. Elkins gotta maintain composure here. Little half court trap. Elkins takes their time. Fields has it. Need a bucket here. Got to stem the tide. Chris Johnson, now they're 
Got the defense way out on top of here. Here's Spaniel for three. It's short. Rebound. Fields. He lays it in. It is fouled. Good job by Jackson Fields. He got the short shot from three-point land from Spaniel. He's able to get the rebound. And on the layup, he was pushed. And he put it home. Three fouls on Amari Abram of Summer Creek. We'll keep an eye on that. He has... He's been pretty tough for him, Amari Abram. And yes, you gotta keep an eye on that one. Fields trying to get the three point play. He does as he rolls the free throw in. That's his fifth point of the ball game. And now it's a one point game again, 46-45. This is a classic, tight basketball game. This is what playoff basketball is all about. Here's Abram in the lane, seven footer, no good. Good defense by Elkins, chance to take the lead. Here's Harris. And he passes it off to Bell, and the ball was tipped away. Nice play by Sawyer of the Bulldogs. Here they come now. Right side, shot, no good. Rebound to the freshman. And that's Jaquil Bajiste. What a play by the freshman. We'll take a break. 4.40 to play in the ball game. 48 to 45. Summer Creek on top. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know, take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com Make sure your car is ready before you hit the road for your spring adventures by taking advantage of March specials at First Tire and Auto. Visit the website FirstTireAndAuto.com for details and book an appointment at any of our conveniently located stores in Sugarland and Katy Cinco Ranch. The March specials include $50 off a brake pad replacement, $20 off a Castrol synthetic oil change, or $10 off a Castrol synthetic blend, $50 off a set of four tires, or $25 off of two tires at First Tire and Auto. Check them out, firsttireandauto.com. Back to the action, it's the three-point lead for the Bulldogs. Knights have the ball, half-court line. Here's Jacoby Harris. Directing the traffic night, drives left side, looking for somebody to go to. He's got Bell, now Faneuil for three, short on the shot, tipped up and in by Chris Johnson. He's able to basically, I guess it turns into a slam dunk the way that ball went in. Flew in there for the rebound. He almost went over and back to Johnson there for the Summer Creek Bulldogs. He's defended by Harris. Oh, it looked like a travel, but no call as Jaquil Bajiste, the freshman. What an impressive-looking freshman. He scored three buckets here late in the ball game during crunch time, and there was a good play for him again. Harris for the Elkins Knights, 3.40 to play. This is definitely crunch time. Bell now for the Elkins Knights against the freshman. And now Harris, right side. They're playing a man-to-man -man defense against him. Chris Johnson had the ball tipped away. That's Abram. And then Johnson was able to come back and steal it back. Nice play by Chris Johnson to not give up on the play. Bell taking it in the lane. Good pass. The field. Oh, he missed the shot. And the ball went out of bounds off of the Bulldogs. As Boy, Fields wouldn't have gotten a better, a, a, an easier chance for a basket there. He just was at the front of the rim. Just could have laid it in. I think he was between a dunk and a lay-in, and he underlaid. Unfortunately for the Knights, 3-12 to play. They got the ball, though, with underneath their own basket. There's Faneuil, a little floater, and he's fouled. Got hit as he floated it in from about 10 on the inbound play. Hacked in the act. Faneuil will go to the free throw line for two free throws. First trip to the line for him tonight. He has nine points in the ball game. He's looking for the double figures right here. We could use him with 310 to play. His free throw is 
Oh, it's a round and out. Off the By the way, there's just something about the Elkins Knights. They never seem to get flustered. And that's why I have confidence that they can pull this one out down the stretch. Their experience will come through. Well, you hope you're right. They, they, they need that composure here at the end. Here's his second free throw good as, as Spaniel was able to get one out of two. It's 50 to 48. And the Elkins Knights are trying to make a defensive stop here as Abram walks the ball up. Under three to play. He's being guarded by Chris Johnson. Crossover. Lost control. Johnson dives for it. Abram still has it. Now Sawyer being guarded by Bell. To the basket. Nice pass. Looked like a travel. No travel. And he lays it in. That's Allen, Reese Allen, and he was fouled on the play. And that foul attempt. Fields picks up the foul. 17 fouls. Reese Allen at the line for Summer Green. Shooting one. Allen will go to the line now. He has, uh, let's see, eight points in the ballgame. He's played a pretty good ball game. Here's his free throw. He rattles it home, and now all of a sudden it's a five-point lead again. This is kind of the way it's been going all night. The Knights have had a lead a couple of times, but only a one-point lead. And Summer Creek has had leads of nine, seven, five, three, and they continue to lead by five. It's just kind of been back and forth their lead. Chris Johnson, now he's double-teamed. Spaniel, Fields, takes it up, underlays, unfortunately, and now he picks up the foul, and they're over the limit. And the freshman will go to the free throw line to shoot a one and one. It is going to be Registe, Registe to go to the free throw line. At the free throw line for Southern Greek, Jaheel Registe. Registe will now go to the line. His first attempt from the free throw line tonight here. He has six points, and they'll all come here in the fourth quarter. That says a lot about the freshmen. For Summer Creek at the free throw line. They don't have the heights down there. For the, they don't have the heights on their roster, but he's a good, tall freshman. You can see where he's going to be something special here. His second free throw is no good, and the Knights are down by six. 2.18 to play. They're going to need to have that grit right now to come through. Harris, Spaniel, back to Harris. He's driving, and he looked like there was contact, but no foul, and the ball went out of bounds off of Summer Creek. That was a break for the Elkins Knights with 2.04 to play. They need a basket desperately here. They gotta have a little run here at the end. Bell has it on the inbound. Three-pointer, that'd be big if he made it. In and out, no good. Rebound up and in as Spaniel tipped it in, and he was fouled on the tip. Good play by Spaniel. Not giving up on that one. He laid it in, and it was fouled on the lay-in. Now we need the free throw. We got to get this in here. Now the whistle blows. How in the world can they give the ball to the free throw shooter and then blow the whistle? I thought. Daniel, uh, very irritated that he was about to shoot a free throw, and then the they blew the horn from the scorer's table. You know, I, that's, that's just, not that know, should not happen. No, I don't understand how that. I'm surprised that uh, Coach Thomas might be a little upset about that. But, well, let's just make the free throw and make that a moot point. Here's the free throw around and out. You know, you can go back and say something about that. I mean, he had the rhythm, and... I don't know how they do that. Here's Abram now in the lane. And now Summer Creek with a four-point lead. Taking their time. Johnson being guarded by Harris. Now a timeout by Summer Creek. Kenneth Coleman, minute 41 to play. Summer Creek 54, Elkins 50. From the Three Musketeers to the Tricycle, you've experienced the power of three, but never like this. Because now, with Xfinity Internet, you can also save on wireless and streaming. Get Internet that's packed with power and up to $300 in savings with Xfinity Mobile. Plus, stream your favorites with a Flex 4K box and Peacock Premium, included at no extra cost. It's three ways to get more and save more, starting with Xfinity Internet. Can your Internet do that? 
Get started with Xfinity Internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement and add a free Flex 4K streaming box. Plus, save hundreds a year on your wireless bill when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 33121. Restrictions apply. New performance starter plus customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Wireless savings compares to averages of top providers. Xfinity Internet required. Peacock membership required. Back here at uh, Del Mar Fieldhouse. We got a minute and 40 to play, and the Knights are down by four. It's going to take some uh, heroic effort here at the end to get this one in the win column. But first things first, they got to play some strong defense and get that rebound. Ball tipped. Oh, and it went off the referee. Break for the Elkins Knights. Daniel has it. He lays it in. Oh, there's a big break for the Knights as the ball looked like it was going to go out of bounds and hit the referee. And the Knights were able to come down with it, and Faneuil was down court, got the layup. 54 to 52, a minute 20 to play. Here's Abram, cut off. Now, there's a contact and a foul. What is this? What is going on down there? There was contact on the play, and one of the Knights is down. Is that Harris? That's Harris is down, I don't, and now I they call the foul on him. Elkins, number two. Boy. I did not see that foul. He's walking around in some pain, so that is literally to add insult to injury. Yeah. When I think he believes that he had drawn a player control foul. Yeah, uh, he looked like he thought he had position. I, it, I'm trying to figure out what his injury, he might have got a Charlie horse or he got need or something, and he's able to come out of there as Charlie, as uh, as uh, Roger said, he was limping out of there, but he's not going to come out of the ball game. Not Jacoby Harris. Elkins Knights fans are up now trying to get this missed free throw. Here's the free throw. Off the bracket. No good. And here come the Knights with a chance to tie. Or take the lead. They're down by two. A minute and five to play here in the ball game. Here's Chris Johnson. Who's going to take the big shot and hopefully make it. Here's Chris Johnson between the legs. Into the lane now. Oh, into the basket. Lays it up. Oh, the ball was tipped. And the ball comes down to Abram who just missed the free throw. Might have not have been a bad idea to foul him. Pressure to backcourt. He gets it to Johnson. Don't foul him. It looks like he might have traveled. Boy, oh boy. And a foul is going to go against either Harris or Bell. Harris, Harris picks up his fourth. Boy, he picked up two fouls in a hurry there. And all of a sudden, he's got four now. As uh, the Knights had a chance, Johnson took it to the lane. And boy, he had a chance for a layup, but it was just partially blocked. Double bonus now as uh, Jalen Johnson will go to the free throw line for the Bulldogs, and he'll get two free throws. He has 14 points in the ball game. All of that was in the first half. Here's his free throw. Nothing but the net. The junior puts it home. Boy, at least if he could miss one, we'd feel a little bit better about our chances. Three-point game, 44 seconds to play in the ball game. And Johnson shoots his second free throw. It is good. I just, he's a good free throw shooter. That's a big couple of free throws there. Knights down by four. Here's... Spaniel, Jacoby Harris thought about a three, now he penetrates. Got to get something going quick. Harris penetrates, he lost the ball, unfortunately. And now he's got Abrams in the backcourt, and it's down to 25 seconds, not looking good. Oh, there's a foul on Summer Creek, and it's going to send one of the Knights to the free throw line, I think. I think the foul was going to be on Registe, as the Knights had that ball stolen on a tip and Registe made contact and that's a big break for the Knights they get some free throw attempts with no time running on the clock it's going to be Faneuil to the free throw line the only thing is it's a one and one where he has looks like he's uh, one for three from the free throw line so we need these to go home here for the Knights, not well. Now they put the clock at 
put a couple of more seconds on the clock as apparently some time ran off after the big collision down there. Now one of the referees is down here talking to both coaches about something here. Not sure what it's about. A little explaining going on. Now he's talking to somebody else at the scorer's table. Looks like the PA announcer is going to tell us what's going on. Are they saying it's no free throws? I'm not sure. They're saying no free throws, Roger, and I'm not sure how that could possibly be no free throws. It's not an offensive foul if there's nobody but possession. Faneuil thought about a three. 17 seconds left. Faneuil's going to drive, takes it in, and it's blocked. Fight for it. And it's still a fight for it. Now a foul, and there's only seven seconds left in the ball game. It doesn't look good for the Knights. Oh, my goodness, as Faneuil took it in, he had a chance for the basket, and the ball was tipped, and now some of the expressions on the face are coming out. Not looking good for the Knights here. Down four, and free throws coming for Registe, the freshman for Summer Creek. He's going to get two free throws. I still do not know why there were no free throws on that foul. I don't think Coach Thomas agreed with that call. I guess they said it was an offensive foul, but I, I don't know. I just That ball was in the air, and there was just contact. Here's a free throw up and good, and it's a five-point lead now for Summer Creek. And I, what kind of a play can you run here? You don't have any timeouts. You need two buckets. Here's the free throw off the rim. Faneuil has it. Long pass. Shot from Glover. No good. Rebound comes down to Sawyer. And the Elkins Knights are going to come up short. Unfortunately, they just could not quite pull it out here tonight. Congratulations to the Summer Creek Bulldogs with a five-point win. Roger... What do you say about what do you say about this one? When you see something like this, I see Jacoby Harris in the arms of one of the assistant coaches. And you see these young men who work so hard and they want it so bad. When you get into a game like this and and they don't get what they want, but we want to see them earn. It just hurts. And you know, there's a classy move there by Coach Coleman. Comes over and showing uh, great affection, patting Jacoby Harris on the shoulder. And the Knights have headed on into the locker room. And the, the empty feeling that you never quite seem ready for. Right when a team drops out of the playoffs. And what's interesting is when you think about the playoffs and all the teams that are in the playoffs, the vast majority of the teams feel it. Yeah. Eventually. You know, they really the only there's only two there's only one team in each division who actually doesn't feel it. It and is that's the, the team that wins it all. Patrick, <laughs> it is as cruel a process as yeah, there is. It really a is. bracket has hundred and twenty eight teams in it when the playoffs start. Yeah. Yep. 127, of the, yep. 127 of the 128 will go home sad right. at the end of their last game. Right. And that's just a tough, tough process. But it's why it's so hard. Thank you, Lauren. By the way, I had to say thank you to Lauren Cook. She's an ambassador for Vipe over at Bush High School. But, uh, you know, she also has, has been kind of working with and following and taking pictures of all the teams. So... Thank you, Lauren. It's going to be tough to watch her go as a senior. But speaking right. of seniors, Patrick. Okay, you're going to read them off for us, right? It is time to read off yep, the names of the great senior class of 2021 for these Elkins Knights. Man, I wish they were playing another game. It just hurts. Shane Bell. Jacoby Harris. Jordan Robertson. Lucian Paul. Coy Glover. Ryan Jones. Josh Faneuil. Those guys have, have just been so great for Elkins High School. I know that Coach Albert Thomas is proud of them and will miss them dearly. And uh, as we kind of sit here, sometimes we, we see some of the parents filing by. You yep. know, this is it. Yep. So thank you to 
everybody who made it a great basketball season for all of the playoff qualifiers. And um, it's been a real pleasure for us to call these games. Absolutely. And then, you know, it came down to this one. It was a real good ball game, close all the way. And it, at one point, it looked like the Knights were going to actually, you know, overcome it. They had that one-point lead a couple times, and we thought the momentum was on their side. And then Summer Creek, to their credit, they... Uh, they bounced back and got the lead back to five, and we just couldn't quite do it. But the grit was there, and the hard-fought effort was there. Sometimes it's just not in the cards. That's right. Well, this VibeFortBend.com presentation of UIL basketball mm -hmm. playoffs has been brought to you by Xfinity with the X1 Sports app. Get up-to-the-minute scores, stats, and standings right on your TV. Change the way you experience TV with Xfinity X1. And by First Tyron Automotive, make sure your vehicles are in shape for whatever adventures you have ahead of you in this late winter and early spring. First Tyron Automotive has locations in First Colony, Greatwood, Katie Cinco Ranch, and on Eldridge Road in Sugarland. All four of them open on Saturdays. Great specials throughout the month of March on oil changes, tires, brake pad replacement, pretty much everything. And they got great coffee in the lobby, too. <laughs> so for the best prices on tires and auto service, go to firsttireandauto.com. And we also want to thank the team at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland. They have been assisting us in taking care of business all year long.